That crate of Chinese chomping cabbages is somewhere in this camp. Kunfringo! Oh. There'll be more of that. Akio! Descendo! Blake! You will not survive this. Imperial! What do you have in store for me this time? Rebellio. Rebellio. That's one crate in hand. I only need one more. Glaciers! Accio! Now you've done it. Defender! Confringo! Come out before I find you. Confringo! <laughs> this is not going well for you. <laughs> Rebellion. Alohomora. Rebellion. Where's this other one? Hello, Mr. Ndi. Eddie Thistlewood sent me. Yes, he told me to expect you. Do you have the Chinese chomping cabbages? I have them right here. Oh, it doesn't appear that you do. How unfortunate. I do think Eddie's idea has merit. I'm not sure how many more attacks Velcroft can survive. What do you have for sale? What are we in the market for today? Have I mentioned you're welcome to stop by any time? Revelio.
Yo, did I look that guy? This guy right here. I can see why Feldcroft needs help. Ranrock's loyalists are hiding out near Feldcroft. They must have the other crate of Chinese chomping cabbages. Accio! Glacius! Hold on, for you to learn the error of your ways. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's all the crates of Chinese chomping cabbages. Better go and see Mr. Hesley's friend in Feldcroft. Have the special delivery for Hello again, Mr. Undi. Glad to see you back. Do you have the chomping cabbages? I have them right here. Marvellous. This will go a long way towards protecting the hamlet from Ranrock's loyalists. The same foul curs who, I'm willing to guess, intercepted them in the first place, along with Rookwood's lot. Feldcroft owes a debt of gratitude to you and Eddie. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they Thank do. you for your help. What do you have for sale? At last, some reinforcements. Hopefully this is enough to thwart the goblins. Have I mentioned you're welcome to stop by any time? We're about, go, we're about to go crazy with how much bread we're about to make. Look at this. Thank <laughs> you. 
There, there. I'm not going to hurt you. Professor Howen will never believe this. Go to hugs me, bro. I don't know how to level up faster, but to be honest, oh, there's hella stories here. That's fire. All right, let's go here. Sorry if there's a smell. New batch of toad hide. Seeing you here again, consider yourself welcome. Is everything all right? Oh, bless you. Oh, thank you for asking. I'm Betty, Betty Bugbrook, and no, everything is not all right. It's my dear friend, Hazel. <gasps> she's in trouble. Hazel? Yes. Like oh, she's a unicorn. That's Known insane. her for years. She doesn't like to leave the forest, so I visit her once a week oh, to brush God. out her mane and bring her some treats. <gasps> her coat is glorious. Well, the last time I saw her, we were violently attacked by a pack of wolves. Hazel, loyal friend that she is, leapt in front to protect me, and in the process, I fear she may have been injured. I'm sorry to hear that. I want to help her, but she seems to have gone into hiding. Out of fear, I'd imagine. I know you Hogwarts students learn a fair bit about caring for beasts. Perhaps you could find my unicorn friend and get her somewhere safe so that she can heal. I'll keep an eye out for your unicorn friend and take her to safety if I see her. Oh, you've a good soul. I can always tell. Please, don't risk your own safety, though. 
I don't know precisely where she is, but I can tell you that her den is north of Hogsmeade. And although I haven't been able to brush her lately, I imagine she still has the brightest, most beautiful coat of her entire herd. She's shining. Remember, you'll know her by her brilliant coat oh, and be warned. Accio. I need to look for a unicorn with a beautifully bright coat. It sounds as if she's in trouble. I'll fix him. Sir, is everything all right? How kind of you to ask. The name's Ackley Barnes. And no, it is not. I'm plotting a sort of revenge against my ex-business partner, a conniving fiend by the name of Alfred Lawley. He cut me out of our herbology supply business, just as we were getting stuck. That must have been... I'll get the vent. I just need that venomous tentacular. Seems I need to find Mr. Lawley's cellar. The day of the troll attack in Hogsmeade. Oh, I do hope Mary... Excuse me, sir. Are you all right? Just barely. But I don't want to trouble a student with my woes. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help. Spider... I'll try my very best, Mr. Dunn. Please do. If you can think of anyone that may be brave enough to... This must be it. This must be the cellar. Now to find that venomous tentacular. Better not let Mr. Lawley see me. What could... Stop! Plant bandit! That's lame. This must be the cellar. Now to find that venomous tentacular. Lumos. Better not let Mr. Lawley see me. What could be? Stop! Come, bandit! The fact that I can't petrificus totalis. Better not let Mr. Lawley see me. What could be? Stop! Stop, bandit! I just wanted to see if I could put your fingers to tell us. Can't. Lame. Lumos. What could be stirring in the cellar? Do not let Mr. Lawley see me. Lumos. Stop! Bro, how did he see me, bro? I'm getting annoyed. Lumos. 
better not let Mr. Lawley see me. What could be? Stop! Stop, bandit! Mr. Lawley see me. What could be? Stop! I'm bandit! <sighs> this is fucking annoying. I'll avada- Why can't I just avada cadabra him, bro? Whatever you don't care, bro. Better not let Mr. Lawley see me. Bro, how? Annoying ass bitch. Lemos. Rebellion. the venomous tentacular, I should return to Mr. Barnes. Lumos. Hello, Amora. I am a 
bandit. I am a bandit. Descendo! Revelio! So many spiders. It's a wonder they haven't taken over the whole house. <gasps> Rebellio. <sighs> Alohomora. Rebellio. Whatever. So many spiders. It's a wonder they haven't taken over the whole house. Lumos. Alohomora. Probably the worst mission to ever I, I've ever experienced. Rebellion. Any luck retrieving a certain friend of mine from a? Hello, Mr. Barnes. I have that venomous tentacular. <laughs> Wish I could see Lawley's face when he realizes his prized possession is gone. We'll see who's volatile now. Well done. I'll take it off your hands now. It wasn't as easy to come by as I had expected. I'd like to be paid for my troubles. <sighs> Only fair, I suppose. I can respect your business acumen. Here's a little something for your next trip to Zonko's. Thank you again for your help. I suspect you have a bright future. I gotta wait, that's crazy. Hello, pardon me. 
Hello there. Was there something you needed? Hello. I was wondering if you would be interested in having your own shop and a house elf to help you with it. Penny's the name. Penny's mistress is selling this shop. And Penny is most eager to start working with the new owner. It might surprise you to know that Penny can sell practically anything. Oh, it would be wonderful to have a place to sell things and someone to help me. You'll be able to give Penny almost anything that you want to sell. It will be no work at all for you once the shop is up and running. If you want the shop and Penny hopes that you do, you should talk to Penny's mistress as soon as you can. Her name is Cassandra Mason. Why is your mistress selling the shop and you? Mm, Penny cannot be certain as Mistress Mason so rarely confides in her. Mm, however, she repeatedly mentions how tired she has become of trying to let the shop. She <laughs> has had rotten bad luck with the last few tenants. <sighs> Are you all right? Are you holding your breath? <sighs> Penny's fine. Sometimes Penny simply needs to remind herself to stop talking. <laughs> all right. I shall go and find Madame Mason. Oh, this is splendid news indeed. You won't be sorry. You can find Mistress Mason at her home on the north edge of the village. Penny does hope she gets to work with you. <laughs> <laughs>